In this video, we'll be showing you the functionality of the OTC3834 TPR tool and the Genesis Scan tool. We'll demonstrate how they interface with each other and how the OTC3834 will work as a standalone TPMS activation tool. We will also show you the functionality of the OTC3870 TPR, which with the 3834 uses the same information about TPMS found on the Genesis. We will demonstrate use of these tools on domestic and Asian vehicles. The procedures on each of these vehicle types is distinctively different, and we want you to be informed. As you may know, Tire Pressure Monitor Systems, or TPMS, have become increasingly popular since 2000. In September of 2007, the government mandated that all cars and light trucks sold in the U.S. were required to have the TPMS system installed as standard equipment. TPM systems use either wheel-mounted sensors banded to the inside of a rim or sensors that are connected to the valve stem. Both systems transmit data to the vehicle's electronic control unit or ECU, such as sensor ID and tire pressure. The bottom line here is that TPMS has been mandated. You're going to continue to see more and more vehicles that need this service in your shop. With these OTC tools and your know-how, you can do the job right the first time you can increase your productivity. The tool makes your job quick and easy. One of the real nice features of these wireless TPR tools is the time savings you realize when you use them. The tool automatically reads the sensor ID information and uploads the data to the vehicle's ECU. No more manual input of long sensor ID numbers. When a customer comes in for TPMS service, here are some of the scenarios you may encounter. Vehicle TPMS warning light is on. This would indicate a low tire pressure or a broken sensor. Another case may involve the vehicle not recognizing a wheel sensor. This could have happened when a new sensor was installed on a wheel, but the vehicle was not programmed to recognize the sensor. We'll show you how our tool helps you complete this step quickly and easily. Let's look at a simple sensor activation using the 3834 in standalone mode. Enter the vehicle's make, model, and year. You need to walk around to each tire. Point the tool at the valve stem and press the select button. If the sensor is good, the tool displays found. If the sensor is bad, the tool will indicate failed. A failed reading means that the sensor is broken, the sensor battery is bad, or the wrong sensor for the vehicle make is installed. If you get a failed reading or are unsure of the sensor type, do this. Take another reading 180 degrees from the valve stem to read a banded sensor, as they are located on the opposite side of the tire from the valve stem. If the tool fails to locate a sensor in either location, you probably have a bad sensor. Now's a good time to inform your customer of this and replace the sensor. We've shown you how the tool works in standalone mode. Let's take a look at how the 3834 works in tandem with the Genesis Scan Tool or the 3870 TPR Tool. The benefits of the tools working together are, one, displays additional information. Two, allows you to access quick reference data on the scan tools. Three, automatically upload sensor IDs, which could save you up to 10 minutes per vehicle of just inputting the IDs. We previously mentioned the problems caused by a sensor replacement that is not recognized by the vehicle. We're now going to show you the proper procedure you would follow after installing a new sensor. Some more complex vehicle TPMS systems display information about exact location of sensors. In other words, the vehicle will tell the driver the exact tire location that is the problem. A tire rotation done on this type of vehicle will require you to do the following procedures. Our first example will be on an Asian vehicle. The majority of Asian vehicles follow a similar procedure. We would recommend that you first take a look at the quick reference guide and review the steps for the Honda reset procedure. Procedures do vary from one vehicle to another, so it's worth taking a moment to view the steps before getting started. For example, most Hondas must sit for five minutes to let the sensors go into sleep mode before beginning the procedure. Connect your Genesis or 3870 TPR scan tool to the Honda using the OBD2 smart cable. From the on-screen menu, select TPR tool icon. Select the make, model, and year. The quick reference guide is conveniently located on the Genesis and 3870 TPR tool one screen after you input make, model, and year. Exit will take you back to the menu. 
Next, select Special Tests from the on-screen menu. Then select Tire Sensor ID Learn. The screen displays a message about being certain no DTCs are present before starting. The tool will now begin the learn process. At this point, you'll want to use the 3834 TPR tool in standalone mode. Select the make, model, and year. Follow the on-screen prompts of the scan tool to begin the learn procedures. With Honda, you'll need to scan each sensor two or three times to collect the sensor IDs. The scan tool displays the continue button when ready to move on to the next wheel. When all sensor IDs have been collected, the scan tool will confirm that the procedure is complete and the scan tool can be disconnected. Hondas will have to be driven and reach 28 miles per hour to turn off the TPMS dash warning light. You can inform your customer of this or choose to drive the vehicle yourself. We've shown you a Honda example. Now we'd like to show you the reset and activation procedure on a domestic vehicle. Our example vehicle is a Ford, but you'll find most domestic vehicles will go through very similar steps to reset and activate TPMS sensors. Again, we would recommend that you take a look at the quick reference guide to view the steps needed to complete the Ford TPMS reset procedure. As with most domestic vehicles, Ford does not require that you connect the scan tool to the vehicle ECU to complete a relearn process. The quick reference tells you to turn the key on and off three times, press the brake pedal once, then turn the key to the on and off position an additional three times. The horn sounds once to let you know the vehicle is in the learn mode. At this point, you'll want to use the 3834 TPR in standalone mode. Select the make, model, and year. Scan each tire sensor around the vehicle one time in this order. Left front, right front, right rear, and left rear. The tool will ask you if you'd like to scan the spare as well. You would do this for a spare tire if needed. When all sensor IDs have been collected by the tool, the vehicle will confirm that the procedure is complete by a single horn blow. The domestic procedure is now complete. We will now show you the Toyota relearn process. Even though a Toyota is an Asian vehicle, the relearn process is unique and differs from the Honda we showed you earlier. Use the quick reference guide on the scan tool to check the Toyota procedure. Connect your Genesis or 3870 TPR to the Toyota using the OBD2 smart cable. From the on-screen menu, select TPR tool icon. Enter the vehicle's make, model, and year. Next, you will select special tests from the on-screen menu. Then select Tire Pressure Sensor Registration. At this point, you want to be certain your TPR is turned on and at the opening menu screen. It should read Main Menu Standalone. This will ensure that the TPR is ready to begin wireless communication with your scan tool. If you've not previously activated the vehicle sensors with a TPR and a vehicle connected scan tool, you'll get a message on your scan tool that reads Tire Pressure Sensor Info Not Available. This is because the scan tool has not yet collected the sensor IDs. Simply press the arrow button under Read TPS Info to continue the registration process. At this point, the scan tool will initialize your TPR. This indicates that your scan tool and TPR are communicating with each other. Follow the on-screen prompts of the TPR to register the vehicle's sensor IDs. No need to go back and check the scan tool as the TPR gets the information wirelessly. When all sensor IDs have been collected, the tool will confirm the procedure is complete, turn off the TPMS dash warning light, and the scan tool can now be disconnected. It's a good idea to register your tool when you first purchase it. There's a registration card included in the kit, or you may register your TPR tool online at www.otctpms.com. This will ensure that we can contact you when future updates become available. So that's it. It's that simple. The new OTC 3834 TPR tool will help you quickly and easily find bad tire pressure sensors, reset existing sensors, and diagnose TPM systems. Customers expect repair shops to stay abreast of the latest technology to troubleshoot their vehicles. You've made a great investment in selecting the OTC 3834 TPR tool. 
using this 2010 Motor Magazine Top 20 tool will allow you to offer your customers additional diagnostic capabilities and make your shop and you more profitable. If you have any questions about the operation of the product, call 800-533-6127 or visit our website at www.otctools.com.